I think that there was an overwhelming feeling in the last election. I think there was an overwhelming feeling last summer when we were faced with Hogroves and Harmony and extreme sports that what we thought we had that was working wasn't working, that we were about to lose it. And I think folks got upset. And I have not heard anybody say they don't want to put our overall goals back into the conflict. I have heard very few people say that we shouldn't have a supermajority on critical issues, that you shouldn't easily do away with the height limit, you shouldn't easily do away with the density limit, you shouldn't easily do away with the urban boundary. They may argue with some of the details, but there's general feeling in Martin County that our key issues, that the things that make us different, we don't want to cast in stone, but we don't want them to be paper either. I think that the biggest thing that happens in Chapter 1 is we institute the supermajority vote. That's a vote of four commissioners instead of three commissioners. If you want to change the urban boundary, if you want to change the height limit, if you want to change the density, if you want to weaken any of those critical policies, this would take four votes. The thing that we do in Chapter 2 is to put our overall goals back. Some years back, they simply took our overall goals out and made Chapter 2 a chapter of definitions. Uh, I have been told in talking to people that we really don't need to have those goals up front because they're in the other parts of the plan. Well, most folks who come to Martin County, whether they're coming here to live or they're coming here to develop property or coming here to start a business, are not going to read the 17 chapters of the comprehensive plan. And there was a very strong feeling and there was a lot of support out there for putting our principal goals back in the plan and putting them up front and personal where people can see what Martin County is about. And those four goals are most simply be resident friendly, be environment friendly, be business friendly, and be taxpayer friendly. And those goals are put into chapter two with uh, objectives and policies that have teeth in them so that you will really be able to enforce those broad generalities. Chapter 4, though it's a tremendously important chapter by itself, we are not dealing with all of Chapter 4, which is the land use chapter. We're simply dealing with those areas in Chapter 4 that relate to the rule changes in Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Those come to two things. One is how you calculate population and your need for future growth. And the other one is that question I was talking about of how do you protect residential neighborhoods.